Hello, hello guys, and welcome back. It's Sin here, and today we're going to be looking at um, at these two vehicles. So I've got Ham, which is my massive mine here in the red, and I've got what was Little Red and is now Little Blue, I suppose. Um, and I'm just going to go through, I'm not going to show you how to build them exactly, um, but I'm going to go through all the components of them so you understand um, how to make them yourself and sort of how to make an efficient mining chip. So this is sort of a tutorial slash dissection of the two miners we have here. Uh, we'll go through we'll go through little blue first because it's probably the easiest to understand and probably something that you make first. So I had these at the right level originally, but I jumped in this one and obviously moved it slightly ajar, which is a bit annoying. But actually, let's start with the drills. So the drills here, so as you can see, we've got nine drills, eight drills, sorry, eight drills around the outside, um, and that is enough to cover all of the mining face that you're going to be drilling into. So if you drill into a, a rock like that, uh, even though there is a gap in the middle here, you're going to grab all those bits there, so that's pretty easy. Every one of these drills is connected to a conveyor here, one of the, which is one of the small conveyors. I think I've got to put another block on it. There we go. I might go with a welder. Um, so as you can see, these have got a small conveyor, and these have got the small conveyor tubes. Pretty much they all go around, they all attach, and then they all come through another conveyor here, which is the same as attached to that one straight down one attaches to this reactor here and the reason you have that is so you can pass materials from your reactor to um, to your uh, sorry not from a reactor you can pass from the connector all these cargo um, cargo containers I can't see that I'll go down here cargo container brilliant so this design here is actually built around the um, this large reactor obviously it is well 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 overpowered for this um, for this design but pretty much you've got a normal cockpit here as you can see it's coming a little bit closer there we go Ooh. <laughs> haven't played a little in a little while so you know uh, my directions a bit off but coming back it's all right we're um, we're all good so as you can see we've got our reactor there and then we've got a conveyor here um, as well as sorry, conveyor is a conveyor yeah it's a conveyor Yep, small conveyor, and it goes into these two medium-sized cargo containers. And the reason there's two is just because it's the same profile as the large reactor. If you make it any bigger, you have to make it bigger, and then you have to make the drills bigger. And then on the back here, what we do have is um, a connector, and this is the connector. I've got to get a bit closer, obviously. That connector there connects into our system um, over there. Well, this one doesn't have it, but a lot of the ones do have it. Mm, yeah, one of the I can't remember if it's this one another map that has it but pretty much there you can put a, another connector on top of a, a pipe that goes out and then you attach that to storage or also into your furnace um, your arc furnace there and it'll work perfectly arc furnace yeah refinery sorry refinery is the word I'm looking for um, and pretty much you need all uh, you need thrusters in all directions and it's very important if you do that because if you don't do that then you're going to have a bad time <laughs> um, but it, it, it's all pretty easy really you're up down left right forward and back um, and as you can see here I've I've got the cockpit here I've snaked in three on either side so as to not um, not get in the way of either of those as you can see I'm missing one here but that's just to show you um, what it looks like and we come back up over here and I'm gonna have a quick look down here again if I can get in there there we go. Uh, and as you can see, I've got all my gyros. You probably can't see them, but there are three gyros down the back center of this cockpit. So that gives us plenty of maneuverability, um, as well as moving in every direction. There's only four going um, going to slow us down, but that's okay, because that's all you really need, especially when we've only got eight on the back. Um, and this is quite a light ship, so you don't need to worry about that too much. Uh, another important feature here is the ore detector and the spotlights. The spotlights give you a bit of view when you sit in, oops, jump in here, so as you can see, the spotlights will light up the rock and we can move forward um, pretty easily here. Obviously, you have to have the drill selected and you pretty much just go straight in like that. You know, obviously, it's very dark when you're, when you're actually digging, but when you come out of that, you know, eventually it is fine. And as you can see, there was no point there in the middle where you know, it's going to come through and stab you in the cockpit and damage any of your other, other things, so that's all good. And then finally, I think it's press no T to get out. I want to press K. Uh, you can go into K or G, I think it is as well. So you can have a look. And, you know, you can see what you picked up. This isn't all from this. Just what that one second I was playing around with this before. Um, and as you can see, you can, you can still those. You can hit hide empty, so that way you can just see that pretty quickly. Or you can you know, filter system inventories, storage inventories, all that sort of stuff. Um, and as you can see there pretty easy so this is a this is a really really good ship um, to use and it's a lot of fun 
um, especially early on, doesn't require too much materials, all these thrusters. Thrusters are probably the hardest thing to make, those thruster components, because they take platinum. Um, so you've got to get your hands on some of that pretty quickly. Obviously, if you were making this, I'd probably make something very similar to this, but a lot smaller with only one drill, and just go out and get those materials and start refining them down. Um, but then once you get something like this, you can go out getting a whole bunch of materials, and then the fun happens. So this is where <laughs> you move into ham. So once you have you know, a little miner here that will be perfect and ready to do everything you wish, you can go, all right, I'm done with that one now. I want to go to something bigger. Obviously, you're going to need to use... Oop, there's a bit of lag there. Obviously, you're going to need to use a, um, a fair amount of resources for this, and I built this one in creative, um, but I have made this in a survival world, and it is possible. It just takes a while to get everything going. So as you can see here, we've got an array of nine by nine drills, um, and that is because they don't work in the same way as these drills. These drills only really drill around the area that they take up, uh, with the exception of something like this. So you can have a, oh, a single spot. I might turn that off for a second so we're not flying around all the time. So this is fine. This single spot is fine. I haven't tested out yet if I can do this alternating, you know, if I only need four like that. Um, but originally when I had it, I had it, you know, there, 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 and there. I had these problems coming up. So. I would suggest building a big wall like this, plus it allows you to mine a lot quicker um, because there's a lot more mining faces there. Um, let's turn back up, up here. So another important feature of ham is the amount of conveyors that I have. Obviously over here I have a conveyor per drill and that's perfect. Over here I have a conveyor, I think I have eight conveyors. So as you can see we have 80, or we would have 81 drills for the 9x9 but there's one missing so we have 80 drills and 8 conveyors so every conveyor is probably taking about 10 drills at a time. Uh, I found that if I had one central conveyor or one conveyor somewhere it had to hit every single drill through every one of these connected inventories and it was too much, it was lagging my game when I started to mine. It's not too much of a problem but it's definitely something to keep in, keep a, um, keep in, keep in mind um, because once they get to these conveyors it's only a single, uh, single line back so very important um, I, f I found so that's yes, one thing you should probably keep in mind when you're, when you're playing with this. Alright so <laughs> moving on um, as you can see we've got two little spotlights here to give us a bit of light going through that hole there as well as a ore detector all very important for a mining ship. Um, further we'll come back up here and you can see I've got a, these conveyor tubes that come all the way down the line. Obviously, we're going to stop in here. One of these is going to be touching um, the conveyor here. Oh, sorry, the conveyor, the large, um, <laughs> the large cargo container there. Whoops, that's what I was trying to get in there. And then I've got one of the things I've added to this new one here is I've added some conveyors here that are above. I've got a refinery and some arc furnaces in here. So. If I can get in here, that'd be nice. Seem to be able to get in. There we go. So it's very cramped in here, but pretty much I've got a refinery on the bottom, and then I've got four arc furnaces above it. So as you can see there, and these are all touching. All the inventories are, con are touching. So I've, I've placed it in such a way that the um, the edge of the like sorry the hatch. That's what I'm trying to get. The hatch is touching in connected inventories for everything and that's why it's actually working for me. So when you place those down, be make, make sure that you've got, I've got four conveyors across the top and I think the refinery is touching the cargo container and that works brilliantly. Um, so again, coming back here, so we're having a look. This has a very large amount of thrusters. It's got three large thrusters um, and it needs it. It's a very heavy machine and it needs those three. Uh, it's still slow-ish. Um, but any machine sort of getting this size, or any ship this big again this size, you'll need a good amount of power. Um, and to counteract that, to keep the profile the same, I've made a huge bunch of these drills. Obviously you can put some slants behind these or diagonals on those, but um, for pure functionality, you could probably get away with a few less if you wish, uh, and that's what, that's five per side um, all the way around, so that's 20 plus another um, three up, three down on each side, and then um, yeah, so, well, I don't know what I'm saying, so it's six, there we go, so six in each direction, and, um, it was a 20 to stop and three large thrusters to keep it going. Um, I think that's, that's fairly, fairly basic what it is, it's obviously a structure, it's built around, um, a large reactor again as well, and it is, the large reactor is three blocks wide, so it's actually five blocks on either side, and it's five blocks high. 
and the whole reason I've kept it within those, trying to keep it within those dimensions is that means that the cutting face is actually two wider than the body um, on either side, on every side pretty much, so very important. Obviously if you want to change it up, you maybe want to make, take this one off, maybe that one off, you know, you can take, you can make it a little, the, the drill face a little bit more round, but it doesn't really matter. Um, that will drill a pretty big hole uh, with those 80 drills there. So if we pop our head into here, you turn your jetpack off, and I have a gravity generator under the floor here. Uh, let's try and change over this. I'm not going to save this, so it's fine. So I've got a gravity generator here, and this is providing us minus, um, sorry, 0.3 down, or down in respect to this cockpit. Uh, and then I've got four gyroscopes here. Obviously, you might say, why don't you put one there and there? Because the reactor is actually taking up all of this space. Um, it takes up a 3x3x3 three by three by three space, so that's pretty cool. Um, and I will say, when you're putting in this, um, this reactor, be mindful that you need to be able to access a hatch when you put it in. Uh, I think all sides are accessible on these large reactors. Uh, you can't use the conveyors unless the ship's got power on them and you have to be able to access the hatch to put the power in. So that's why the reactor is closer rather than further away from the refinery um, up there. Cool thing is the flight seat here. Um, and this is where you sit and we'll, we'll have a look at that in just a second. These doors open and close. Brilliant, so you can close that so nothing will come inside when you're um, flying around outside. Quickly replace that. Oh yeah, that feels better. <laughs> so one thing you might notice when we're looking at here is you can actually see a gravity generator out there as well. And this is one of the improvements I've made as well, that that gravity generator will either pull things towards it or push things away from it. It doesn't do side, left to right, up and down when we're looking at it. So I'm trying to display those directions. Um, and the whole point of that is we're gonna we have that on a negative gravity, so it's gonna pull towards um, pull towards the cabin here. So any ore on the other side of this drill is gonna be pulled towards the drills, and that way it's gonna actually go into the system, which is gonna save us a lot of issues with um, ore being scattered around and thrown around around here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to jump in the cockpit um, and this is a very big ship so I'm moving my mouse and you can see it moves all right it is slow um, but I designed this so you can drive it as a um, in the first person um, but I normally drive this in third person and as you can see we can pull away Whew. and you know um, you alter to change the direction obviously and I'm just playing around with this to get it you know, in a good position. That's good enough. So we're going to aim towards this one here. Big thrust. Uh, obviously you can turn your inertial dampeners off here and to get to get up to speed so that way if you like go by accident you start, don't start slowing down. But be careful if this ship hits that if, if it hits that asteroid that's going to be that's going to be it, and you just chuck those inertial dampeners on like that. Um, I typically like to fly side on to the asteroid, so if I miss or I miss, make a misprediction, um, you know, I can slow it down like that. Oops, I should turn them on. And then if you really want to slow down faster, you can turn it around, but you don't have to. Um, oh, this is slow to turn. I don't know why it feels slower than, than normal. Um, but we have plenty of power here um, to dig and grind and do whatever we want. So as you can see there, I've got um, press G, I'll come down here, so you can see we've got the ship gravity generator, so we can toggle that on and off through um, our hot bar here, and then we've got the ore gravity generator, which we can turn on and off. So as you can see, this one's already on, this one's going to be off, so if I press 5, we have no gravity, and then if I press 9, we now have the gravity, and it's pulling us back, essentially, so what I'm going to do is if you're in here, you know, you can obviously see a lot easier with that, that one whole space, it helps you sort of direct the um, ship in to, to do some grinding and as you can see we're getting closer and closer it just makes it a bit easier obviously because there's one thing that I've always found is it's, it's hard to tell you don't want to crash it in too hard because you can't do damage to your, um, your ship but as you can see here we're just going to keep grinding away and we're not going to have any problems there's no no um, no ores going to come through here and the reason why I developed it like this is so that we can actually fly it straight through an asteroid um, not that I've had any need to do that, it's, um, it's really sort of I guess, un unnecessary because you get so much more from just mining the outside. Obviously you probably, you'll probably end up mining through a whole asteroid if, if need be. Um, I think that's enough, I'm going to back it up a little bit. Sometimes you might get caught here and there, you have to just readjust it a little bit. Plus it's a heavy ship um, 
as you see we've got some things all going back but as I leave this cavity here there shouldn't be if I use alt see there shouldn't be that much on I did see a few peats go past but it's gonna hit those drills first and not gonna hit the rest of your your body so that's gonna be pretty pretty good um, and then that's pretty good I think I didn't get anything with that um, I was just getting stone but the the amount of things that this holds I think I'm going to the wrong one no, I have um, the amount of uh, things that like that just then was 60 660k of stone that's just ridiculous I don't know about you guys but yeah that's ridiculous but let's go back through here so we can have a look so we've got I oh, just got even more so it's got all this uranium this is from another trip that I'd done out here hide inventories that are that are empty and as you can see I've got all these arc furnaces so they go through your um, your nickel and your iron and pretty much they just burn through everything so that's really really cool um, and fun to play with so pretty much trying to get this back to base is the same as before just fly it back and um, and yeah I think I think that's going to be it with everything for this episode oh actually there's one more bit that I want to talk about I'll spring back to the platform and I'll, um, I'll be with you in a second Okay, so we've now arrived back. I've got my jetpack off still, so you pretty much, you know, to get out, open the doors, um, jump out. And then once you get to this door, actually, I might just explain that, is once you get here, turn your jetpack... Oop, I missed it. Let's do that. <laughs> once, you get, once you get here, get your, get in, turn your jetpack off, and then you can walk around in here, because it's very hard to get through these doors when you've got, when you've got a jetpack um, on, because you're, you know, slightly off, and it makes it a big, big problem. Um, the final thing I'm going to talk about is, on the small ship over there, it's quite easy to navigate and chuck that connector into something else. On this ship, um, it is not so easy from over there to, to see. So, what we've, in, what we've installed is a, um, a cockpit that's actually upside down. So, what you can do is, you can point this up like that. And you see, if I, I can't actually point it. It's pretty much in the middle of the screen now. You see there's a tiny little yellow bit, and that's going to go green when... Um, when you're close enough to, to connect. So pretty much you can fly this ship um, with the same controls, but you're actually gonna be upside down and inverted, but it doesn't matter from where you're sitting. Um, so the whole point of that is that you can connect this ship to a connector really easily by having that there, because it allows you to sort of that finesse control that you want. Um, and yeah, I think that's the final bit on this auto smelting. <laughs> ham and it's a really good efficient mining ship and i hope you guys like it let me know if i missed out anything you'd like me to include um but yeah guys i think that's going to be it for me today as always if you like this video and want to chuck a comment down please do a like always helps and um yeah if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe but as always guys have a good day see you now